okay, gentlemen, it's your last chance to back out become, before coming infamous on YouTube as not knowing what you're talking about. So, death of the mosquito in three, two, one. Uh, okay, so that's, uh, you know, sports hobby, you know, versus yeah. that. Um, so, you're saying you can combine the two? Because, I mean, unfortunately, it's just... I am. A byproduct of this game is so many people deal in absolutes. I think that... I think... And the, it's not just the game. Before you finish, I think so many people are... Um, so adamant and against compromising because they themselves have worked so hard to define these different things that they don't want to cross over yeah. or f drop down to that what they consider to be a lesser level. It's like I'm a sportsman; I take this very seriously. You know, this is, you know, my kids come second to the sport, <laughs> and then when you know the wife goes, "Daddy, we need new shoes." When the wife goes, "Shut up, Daddy needs a new play carrier." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you we know, just want food. I need ammo. This is smacks you. They don't want to step down to hobbyist level because it's like beneath them because they've made so much fun of them. <laughs> I think that someone who's trying to buy me some time, Frank. <laughs> absolutely identify those two things mm -hmm. is is probably in an identity crisis of their own that they're not really sure if it's defined as a hobby because of the costs that they throw into it mm -hmm. um, or if it's defined more as a sport because of the commitment level because I, I I often see those two connections I mean I I have way way too many hobbies and it's almost you know, I would wager a useless income. You know, I'm just blowing all my money on some of these things that pretty much go to self-satisfaction. And I'm though <laughs> a lot of times sports are very similar, normally you get some sort of recognition or award or um, something out of it. Even if that might be a paycheck at some point because you're professional in that sport. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're really going after something. Whereas Airsoft is kind of one of those things where there isn't necessarily a defined end goal. There's victory at the end of battle. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's kind of hard to define one without the other in Airsoft. Because there's definitely people who are the hobbyists and... And that's that's what it means. And there's the people that are competitors and switch on. And like you said, you know, they work towards it. Uh, you actually, so sports does have trophies, awards, mm -hmm. ribbons, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. So obviously, everyone's ribbons are their op patch, or you know, mm -hmm. what unit they that's were with. Participation. Everyone gets one. Yeah. Everyone gets yeah. one. You worked for a patch. You were there. You may have not fielded the whole time. Might have fallen out in the first hour due to heat stroke. But <laughs> what we did is we shook hands after the game. And then we went and got some Rice Krispie treats. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So awards. This one kind of bugs me sometimes on a personal level. <clears throat> so, you know, there's obviously we're going to go with the easy because it's fresh in everybody's minds. Outstanding Operator Awards. These things get handed out. These things are like, you know, the Oscar. I mean, if someone could get, you know, have the acceptance speech of this badass move that they did in this game. And, I'd like know, to thank my stunt coordinator. <laughs> exactly. I'd like to thank my personal trainer for making, you know, helping me get into that <laughs> fitness level of jumping over that log and killing 10 people. It's cool. But that's great. But how many unsung heroes are out there that, you know, do work? Oh, who do things? Yeah, that do yeah. things for their team or, you know, the commander or the XO that stays back but, the whole time. But that's, that's making the experience. That's, that's the enthusiasm. nature. The, the, the poor medic <laughs> the, exactly. that spends his whole lot tying knots so everyone else can be superheroes. Exactly. Yeah. That guy? Yeah. Okay. yeah. That guy. Who gives out the awards at the games you've been to? Um, staff. Someone yeah. there. Yeah. It's I like was, for me, I it's like you want an award? Stick closest to stick, you know. Stick Try to be but glue your ass to staff in front of a camera, but and you're, yeah, yeah. you're guaranteed I mean, an yeah. award. I mean, no, I isn't that kind of... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, I'm, for our game, our last game, we never did that. I gave it up to the CEO. My, as I, told him, I told each the green and ten CEO, I said, you decide who's going to be your most valuable team, and you decide who's going to be your most valuable player. Because they're going to be the ones who are going to be running the most missions. They're going to be the ones who are going to be doing you know, outstanding achievements, and they're always the ones who are going to report back to you. You choose. Why should it be up to the staff? They already have their own, uh, you know, things they got to do is like, you know, refing and making sure, you know, things happen at a certain time. Why leave right. it up to the staff? It's actually a pretty good because idea. Hmm? The staff is only Instead of, hey, one watch this. Area, one area, <laughs> while, you know, the players are going to be over the whole AO. Hmm. So I think it should be left up to the CO. Right. Because he should choose 
can use the award. Which actually isn't that kind of the way it works in like the real services and stuff. Yeah. It's the CEOs. It's the officers. officers. Yeah, that 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 decide you know, put in or people for awards or decide yeah. what yeah. commendations or whatever it is that you right. get. That you it, get. Gives, it gives the the, the CEO pride, you know, because I, I hand him the mic at one of the games. He said, "Here, is that this individual and it kind of hypes him up a little bit? Did this many missions and." This award goes to so and so, mm -hmm. and I think that for that, you know, it just helps the CEO, you know, with the pride, and then the, the player. It, it it all meshes together with it. Everyone just walks over to it. Well, yeah, Napoleon said that a soldier will endure great hardship for a little piece of ribbon. So uh, yeah. to reel in the conversation a little bit, as soon as I mentioned something about trophies and awards, <laughs> it became an individual sport. Did you mm -hmm. notice that? It became. One person being an outstanding oh, But it's, it's because the, the award that we have is an individual right. award. So I've, I've only seen one group award at an event. Have, I mean, spitballing. Uh, hosts, please take notice. Game staff, take notice. You know, um, Rose Bowl, Stanley Cup. The team gets this icon for the event. Um, you know, Super Bowl. Rings. <laughs> well, they get the rings, but that's not what matters. Right. It's Lombardi. Mm. Um, so it's that icon. And, you know, there's a lot of rivalries across everywhere that do college icons. There's all sorts of different trophies that get traded from side to side. Why can't that happen with ops? If they're going to happen annually, it absolutely could. Why can't we have a team recognition? that you know, their state or their organization or the CEO holds on to that until next year and brings it out and goes, this is what we're fighting for, guys. I can think of one reason not mm. to, but I can think of lots of reasons to. Here's my one reason not to, is that Airsoft is kind of a fluid environment. Yeah. So when GK shows up and wins the, um, the first Fire Cup, and then GK disbands, or GK doesn't come back next right. year, <clears throat> We're out, back to staff we're, we're, out, we're out the first fire cup now. Right. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, it, the idea is more towards giving it to mm -hmm. the, the collective I, body. I, I think you're right. I mean, I, the one group team award that I've ever seen, I happen to be on the team that got it. I thought it was cool as hell. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it was like that, really that, that's neat. your satisfaction right there. <laughs> yeah. You're happy, yeah. you're satisfied, and you know what? The other team wants that award. I mean, I so never they'll be back. I was never actually allowed to touch it or anything. But yeah. <laughs> we, it's like, where does it live? You weren't on the in crowd. I, I, don't even, I have no idea where it is. I don't know who's got it. We, no, no, we gave we we announced the awards at the beginning. This right. is what you're gonna be fighting for. So that way, it gives people the motivation to fight even harder on the field and be more it's honorable. Like, guys, just pick our asses up, new. Yeah, it's know? like not only are you, are you competing to achieve this award. Yeah. The tenants of acquiring this award are outstanding sportsmanship, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, courtesy on the, you know, player I mean, courtesy I, on the field, yeah. so on and so forth. We so, gave a sportsmanship award to so a guy you, who threw a Thunder Bee into one of the vehicles with no CO2 in it. He just pulled the pin through there as a courtesy so he wouldn't blow out the eardrums of the players inside. To me, that was outstanding. I, I thought that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Neil. <laughs> there is a word for oh. that. So, so you've got your, your brackets. Everything. The capitalist in me, Rob. Are you listening? So, <laughs> your 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 rank patch is just that new little fancy little meter. So you've got hobbyist, sportsman, and soul leveraged. <laughs> so. What if you don't have a soul? <laughs> yeah, if you happen to be soulless or dead inside. Um, <clears throat> I, I I think of myself as a a guy that my hobby is playing this sport. Right. You know, I mean, that, that, that's why I say I, I don't really discriminate between the two. Mm, that's I, fair. Yeah, it's... Now, so, when I play, I tend to play really in, right. you know, but now, it, it's my hobby. Does the hobbyist, if you're the sportsman guy and you want the hobbyist to move up to the bunker, does that create a problem? Often, yes. <laughs> it's like, God, oh, why are you going to be such a hobbyist? So, you know, oftentimes there's a, uh, a race. You don't want to sign to the bunker because your kick's going to get dirty? Yeah. Wake I, up! There, yeah, yeah. Uh, fr Frank's right. There's often a raised voice. There, there could be increasing oh, you volume. Pull out your your sidearm um, and shoot him occasionally. <laughs> on, on there's been blue. Occasions, there's yes. been some blue on blue. <laughs> <laughs> As, as a demonstration to others. Normally, they become a sportsman after they get shot by friendlies. <laughs> what? You shot me! Thank uh, you. Now you're invigorated. 
Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yes. That's right. If, if, if you can't be productive, be prepared to be a horrible example. Yeah. <laughs> In dog use. Okay. <laughs> but I think that that is something In airsoft that terms. Airsoft. airsoft years is a lot like dog yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> airsoft years, it was, it was for a long time. You know, I did do...